We are cooking our breakfast. We are making breakfast sandwiches or egg McMuffins for lack of a better word. Our campground is in Fruta, which is the heart of Capitol Reef. Fruta? Fruita? Fruta, Utah. The way I like to say it. Um, Fruta is small, quaint, and nice. The campgrounds are not secluded by any means. We're surrounded by people. But, probably the coolest thing is that all of the orchards here you can go in and eat as much fruit as you want. We tried some apricots last night. I don't know if much else is right. Um, but that's kind of fun. And the building just next to us over here is the Gifford House. Which is where you can buy freshly baked pie. I don't know why. She swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. And anything else to say, Melissa? No. Flushing toilets. It's a plus. So yeah, nice easy place to camp. How's the sandwich? Good. I did bacon. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Melissa, I want to tell them what we're doing today. Sure. We're going to hike the Lower Calf Creek Falls. Yeah. And it's 5.8 miles, which, according to Chris, is the longest single hike that we have done together. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> and this is not in Capitol Reef, it's about an hour south. And it's a nice temperature. It's in the 50s, but sunny. So we have sunscreen on. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get burned. We probably will anyway. That's the albino life for you. We're super white. We're bringing the calf to Calf Creek Falls. All right, baby. Look at those calves. <laughs> Cute baby rock arches. Whoa, look at all the green. So green and so red. Hey, little buddy. Wow, he's not moving. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> we are here on the last day of June, 2020. Woo. And we are still smack dab in the middle of this dreadful COVID-19 pandemic. Yep. Now, some of you probably think we're foolish for going out and having fun during this when we are advised to be self-isolated at home. And you're probably right. But you know what, the parks are open and man, being out in nature like this certainly does wonders for both your emotional and your physical health, I believe. And yeah, there is some risk of coming into contact unnecessarily, like touching doors and gas pumps and things. So definitely not the ideal time to travel, but. We're keeping our distance from people and we're using hand sanitizer and masks in public, really public places. So I, I feel like we're trying to take all the precautions that they've asked us to as well. Yeah, all the precautions within reason. I mean, we just can't put off life forever. Life's not gonna wait. We have reached our goal. Oh, 
Yeah. We can see water through the trees. Man, that's sweet looking. What do you think? That's cool. Well, you only live once, so why not go for a dip in the freezing cold water, right? Woo! 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 These guys are beasts going all the way in. Lower Cat Creek Falls, ladies and gentlemen. Well worth the hike. Yep. Well worth taking a dip in the refreshing cold water. If you don't bring your swimsuit, you can at least get your hat and your face wet, which is what I did, and that's so much better. And I'm sure skinny dipping is always fine with everyone here. Yikes. <laughs> Onward! So we stopped at this unmarked turnoff. And this place is called Singing Canyon. Looks like a uh, little slot cannon, and I'm not sure how far back it goes. I know we won't be going all too far because we're pretty fatigued. But let's go check it out. What an enchanting little pathway. Join me. I like it. It's shady. It's beautiful. This is cool. Uh, there's some towering walls. Okay, but you have to sing something. What? You have to sing something to pay what your tribute to enter the canyon. What should I say? Or else the ghosts of the Fremont Indians no, will reject you. Ooh. I'm saying you have to keep going yeah. if you want to sing it. Looks like it dead ends, but it's like an echoey cavern.
Super cool. Definitely a nice little stop on the road. Singing Canyon on Burr Trail. Well, Burr Trail keeps affording us pleasant surprises. We just emerged from Long Canyon and look where it pops us out. Quite the view. Yeah, it's like some of those Martian dunes that we were climbing around on yesterday. is still paved so I guess we'll just keep going. It creates a whole loop through to the end of the park and it's pretty long but I know it turns to dirt road at some point and after yesterday's experience of being stranded on Mars I would prefer to stick to the pavement. All right, we forged ahead on the Burr Trail Road up until the end of the pavement, which also is apparently the beginning of the Capitol Reef National Park. So what we were inside of earlier, I guess was not Capitol Reef and was actually part of the Grand Staircase Escalani National Monument, but whatever, same diff. There is some really kind of imposing uh, mountains and cliffs in the distance. Can't see much of it from here, but I'm sure if you had a hardcore vehicle that was made for this kind of stuff, it would be an awesome adventure to go all the way through. How happy I am when I crawl into bed, a rattlesnake hisses a tune in my head, a gay little scent. Without fear, crawls over my pillow and into my ear. Oh, hurrah for Greer County, the land of the free, the home of the best for grasshopper and bee. I sing of its praises, tell of its fame, while starving to death on my government claim. Hurrah for Greer County, the land of the free, the home of the best for grasshopper and bee. We made it back from our Today's adventures, we got ice cream at Slackers in Torrey, Utah, and now we're calling it a day. Tomorrow we return home, but before we leave, we have one more adventure planned in the morning, so stay tuned. <laughs> 